Hey ladies and gents, and welcome back. Today, we have a pair of Timberland Earth Keepers. Had a lot of requests for these. Yes, so we had a gentleman send these in to us, and as you can see from the pictures, they have not been conditioned in quite some time. Leathers, quite thirsty. Yeah, very thirsty leather. So we're gonna get these nice and conditioned, nice hydrated, change those soles out. As you can see, they're starting to dry, rot, and crack a little bit on the bottoms, they're worn out. So, uh, we're going to get those up and going. But hey, real quick, before we get started, just a quick reminder, if you guys haven't joined us before, Heath and I also have another business called Southern Polished. It is that time of the season again for sandals, and we have are nice loaded up with uh, lots of sandals. Yeah, even if you live up north, you're probably dreaming of warm weather. Yeah. So, uh, so after this video... You can do it too. Yeah. Check us out, southernpolish.com. We'll put the link down below. All right, guys, let's head out to the shop and get these boots taken care of. Okay, so the thing about this boot is it's all just a cement constructed boot. So this welt that you can see on here is just really a faux welt. It doesn't really serve a purpose other than just to give some design aspect to it. So what we're gonna do is go through and cut all of this crepe off and you know take it off and that will you know get us down to that, that welt and then we'll kind of see uh, what it looks like from there and go from there. like a hot knife through butter. All right, so we've got the sole off and as Trent was saying, it was three layers. So you had your rubber sole, then a thin layer of crepe and then it goes down to the faux welt. And as you can see, it's got a little serrated edge and that's kind of characteristic of a faux welt. Uh, that is stri strictly so it can bend and then it is just glued to the upper. So there's a little bit of a cavity right here, not much, nothing like a Goodyear welted uh, cavity. So, but we are gonna get a thin piece of crepe, scab it down to the edges so it's not a bump inside there and just kind of fill in this little bit of area, just add a little bit of cushion. All right, so just like I said before, um, I don't like to just glue straight to rubber because it's very smooth, it's not poor. So we're gonna do the same thing as we did to the soles. Uh, we just gotta be careful because this is a faux welt and it's got a faux stitch on it. So we don't wanna grab those stitches, but we do just wanna give a little bit of texture for the glue to adhere to. All right, for those who watch the channel, you know what we like to do, upgrade synthetic materials with natural leather materials when possible. So leather midsole, that's what we're gonna put on here. And um, even though there was a little bit of foam, we, you know, we could add a little bit of foam in there, but the problem is the sole that we're gonna put on is a little bit thicker, and then they wind up looking like Frankenstein shoes, and we don't wanna go that route. So leather, it's more of an upgrade, it's porous, it'll hold better, last longer. That's what we're gonna do.
Okay guys, so Heath just stitched on the midsoles and like we've done in our other videos, anytime that you can stitch on a midsole, anytime that you can stitch on a sole, it's much more advantageous because it's really going to hold that sole, it's really going to hold that midsole onto the shoe. Anytime it's just cement constructed, you always risk that glue coming undone and that way also anytime that these shoes are resold in the future if the cobbler heats them up good enough that sole should be able to peel off of the midsole they can reuse this over and over again and it's not going to take off the welt and everything kind of like it did with these so let's get some glue on here we'll get the soles put on and we'll wrap things up All right, so we are going to prep these soles that we're going to put on these Timberlands. Now, this is a little bit different rubber than, you know, kind of some of your other harder rubbers. This is a, is a little bit softer. It's not a crepe, but in order to get the glue to really adhere to this, uh, for those who are kind of just now jumping into the uh, shoe crafting world, rubber is not very porous. It's not like leather, so we have to rough this up. We use one of these. And after we coat it with acetone to get that, uh, the residue kind of from the factory off, then we go over with, with this, it roughs it up and gives the glue something to adhere to. So that's what we're gonna do now. Okay, so the boots have been resold, and as you can see, these boots are extremely dried out. I don't know if they've ever been conditioned. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is just clean these boots off and get some conditioner back in here, try to get them to look like this again, and uh, that should just about do it.
All right, so we have wrapped up this pair of Timberland Earth Keepers. What do we do? Okay, so like we said in the beginning, the soles on these were really worn out. The gentleman wanted to have new soles similar to the ones like we, you know, he had on originally. So we changed those out, nice, fresh Vibrams. Uh, the color's a little different. I actually like the color on these. Yeah. It's a little more of a reddish tone to yep. it. And then we conditioned them, hydrated them. Switched out the midsole. Yeah. Went from crate to leather. Leather holds better, so, lasts longer, a little more flexible. Yeah. So, so should, they should be able to hold up a lot better, like we mentioned before. You know, by putting a leather midsole on there and also stitching the yes. midsole on, that way it makes it easier for him to repair these. Mm -hmm. and, and the next time around, the next time around, uh, whoever that shoe cobbler may be, they can just heat them up, peel that new one off. Not say that it doesn't, they can just heat up and it peel off. These things should be held on pretty well. Yep. Just a reminder out there that we do have an Instagram. We actually have two Instagrams, one for Potter and Sons and one for Southern Polished. So make sure you go over to Instagram and check both of those out and follow us there. Hit the subscribe button, tell your friends, hit the little bell to uh, let you know when we come out with another video. We are fixing to start launching some videos on Wednesdays like we used to do. We're so, going to try to at least do it yeah. every other Wednesday. We want to get back to throwing out some other videos like he said for you guys. Just some more content. Yeah, yeah. So definitely subscribe to the channel as well. If you guys are interested in purchasing shoe care products or sending us your shoes or boots, check out potterandsons.com. Again, the links to all of this is in the description below. All right, guys, thanks again for joining us. And until next time, y'all have a good one.